If you don't love yourself, how can you love anyone else? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. The Gospel of Mark speaks of the greatest commandments ever written. In Mark 12 verse 30, when Jesus said, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And we get that. God wants us to love him with all of who we are, our triune being, our mind, our body, and our soul. But in verse 31, he said this, and the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. According to Mark, these are the two greatest commandments. And both of them involve love. Loving God and loving your neighbors. But what did Jesus want us to learn from this? What did he want us to truly understand about this command? He wants us to love our neighbors. But how? The same way that we love ourselves. So basically, if you can't love you, you cannot love the people that are around you. So who are our neighbors? In the Greek language, the word neighbor means someone that is near or nearby, meaning your family, your friends, your co-workers, or anyone that you interact with on a regular basis. We are to love these people the way that we love ourselves. But ask yourself this question, do you love you? Self-love is essential. And I'm not talking about going to the spa or buying yourself a new car or even indulging in your favorite meal. It's on a way deeper level. Self-love includes having higher regards for yourself, your well-being. Self-love is trusting you, asserting boundaries and a deeper connection with you, which in turn can connect you with other people. Self-love also includes talking kindly and caring for yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually. But let me tell you this, loving you doesn't mean that you will not make mistakes. You will make mistakes but you have to know your value. Because if you don't value yourself, you cannot genuinely love other people. So know your worth. Self-love, it's equivalent to self-acceptance. So stop comparing yourself with other people. Know who you are and accept your shortcomings and work on fixing the things that needs to be fixed and allow God to help you to work on the ones that you cannot fix. Stop being so hard on yourself. Be kinder to you and more forgiving. You have to take care of yourself first. You cannot take care of the people around you if you don't take care of yourself first. It's not being self-centered. It's not being selfish. It's being able to love you so that you can love other people. You may be able to hide the true you from your neighbors, the people around you, but you can't hide from God because man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at our heart. He knows your thoughts. So ask yourself this question. Do I really love the people around me if I don't love myself? We can have all the greatest things in the world. We can have 
the biggest faith, be the most intelligent, the brightest in the room. But if we do not have love, we have nothing. So let's be obedient to the commandments of God. And let's start loving ourselves so that we can love other people equally. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.